Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I just received this Raspberry Pi 02W. I ordered it right away because I read that it has a lot more processing power than the original Raspberry Pi Zero. Yeah, see here it says five times more multi-threaded performance than the original and 40% more single-threaded performance. So let's put it to the test. I made a video about the original Raspberry Pi 0W and I loaded the full Raspberry Pi OS desktop on it. It was a little pokey, but you might want to check out my experiment with that device. And this time, instead of downloading the images and using Bolina Etcher, I'm going to use the Raspberry Pi Imager. If you haven't used it before, check it out. It's got a lot of interesting features. But like I say, we're just going to use Imager to load Raspberry Pi OS Lite on our Raspberry Pi 02W, and we're going to do it headless. Thanks to Super Ray for this cool one-piece Raspberry Pi Zero case. Here you can see it in action. All of the ports are available. It snaps shut cleanly. Kind of nice to keep it clean without you know, getting dusty or spilling your coffee on it. First, I'm going to use the Erase feature of the Raspberry Pi Imager. Select the SD card, answer yes. And it's pretty cool, it wipes out the Linux uh, volume on the SD card as well. There we go, it's all ready. So now let's go ahead and pick our Raspberry Pi OS Lite. Look at all these other things you can do. Emulation and game OS, multiplayer, Kodi. Ah, interesting stuff. I'm going to poke around there some more. Okay. Picking OS Lite, picking the SD card, and off we go. Of course, this takes a lot longer, so I'm going to crop out a lot of this. We'll just see it start writing. Now you can see it's verifying. It takes a little less time than the writing. And it actually ejects the SD card from the USB. So we actually have to plug it back in. Yeah, you see it's not, it's not inserted anymore. So we actually want to plug it back in because we have to do a few things to get ready to configure Raspberry Pi OS Lite uh, wirelessly over SSH. Again, no keyboard, no monitor. Always ignore these format disk things because that's just the Linux partition that Windows can't access. Yeah, you see there's no WPA supplicant configuration file, so look for the link down below. I'll have all these articles listed there. Yeah, we need this WPA supplicant conf file, so let's create that in the boot partition here. New text document. Change the name to WPA supplicant dot conf uh, confirm that you want to change the file extension now we're going to edit it and we're going to use notepad to do that go back and we'll copy and paste this code here then of course we're going to edit it for my Wi-Fi SSID and password. Okay, we'll save that. What else do we need to do to go headless? We want to make sure SSH is enabled. This is remarkably simple. All you need to do is create an empty file named SSH. Again, in that same boot partition as the WPA supplicant configuration file. Okay, right click, new text document, change the name to SSH, there's no extension, and we'll confirm that we want to change the extension. So now let's go ahead and fire up our Raspberry Pi 02W. You see me powering it up there and the light comes on, it's booting. get on my router, look at the DHCP clients, and lo and behold, there's the Raspberry Pi. 
192, 168, 1.71. Now, I need SSH on my Windows 10 machine. Again, look for the links down below in the description. Oh, it's an optional feature. So we go into Apps and Features, Optional Features. We type SSH. And you can see, I already have it installed. I don't even remember installing it. Well, that's pretty cool. And now you just pop open PowerShell. Yeah, here's the command you need to log in via SSH. SSH username at local IP address. So I'm launching PowerShell here. And we just type in SSH. Pi is the username at that IP address, 192.168.1.71. Okay, you have to type yes out here. I mistakenly just hit the Y key. DOS lets you do that sometimes. Yes. Okay. The password is Raspberry. And there we go. We're in. Let's change the Pi password. Okay. So, pass WD. Enter the current password, Raspberry. And... Type in your new password twice. Not going to tell you what that was. <laughs> okay, the password has changed. And now we're going to do sudo apt get update and sudo apt get upgrade. And when I ran that, it actually failed on the upgrade part. I don't know why. So I went ahead and just ran sudo apt get update. And I went ahead and rebooted it because I wanted to log in with the new password. There we go. It's rebooting. All right. So we're going to do SSH pi at 192.168.1.71. Type in our new password here. Okay, we've completed configuring our Raspberry Pi 02W, and we did it headless, no keyboard or mouse. And stay tuned, because I'm going to be installing this Sedalo platform. It's the Mosquito Server, a web-based management center, and something called Stream Sheets. I don't even know what it is, but that's going to give us some more interesting MQTT action. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my Raspberry Pi videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.